now we need to work on the contact us section so let's begin so go to index.html and let's close this portfolio now let's write a comment control slash to make it a comment and after that i want to create a contact us section so section with the id contact and inside section i want to add a section header so i want to create a div with the class section header and inside section header i want to add a yes to tag and inside it i want to put contact and after that i want to create a sub heading and inside sub heading i want to put this text so click on it copy it and put it right here and i'm sorry this spelling maybe this is incorrect okay make it like that now after section header we need to put these two contents and we have this content on the left and this content on the right so we are going to put them on the two columns so we need to create two columns so create a row and inside row create a column and maybe we can create two columns and since these have equal width we can set the width of the column in the contact section to have 50 percent so we are going to write css for the contact section so write contact css and inside it for the column inside contact i want the width to have 50 percent now on the left portion i want to have form so let's create a form in this column i want to create form so open a form tag and i don't want this action because we'll use that later so just create a form and inside form inside form i want to have two input fields one text area and one button so let's create that so create an input type is text and the name is the name and you can see we have some placeholder so let's add a placeholder that is name and let's add a asterisk sign since this is a required field you can also add required attribute right here so after name you can add email set its value to email and you can set its type to email and placeholder to email and this is also required after that you can add a text area text area will have the name message and the id maybe i don't need id and i don't need column also and set the row number of row to 10 okay maybe that too may be good and give it a placeholder message and this is also a required field so let's add a required attribute to it just remove this we can also write just required only and now after the text area we need a button so create a button and then since this is a submit button it needs to have a type of submit and let's add a class we have already created a class for the button that is btn it gives a nice and with background button so let's add a text inside the button that is send message instead of button you can also put uh, input type right here input type equals to submit and then you can add a class and you can set the value to send message so either you write button or input it does not matter you can put any 
as you want so just now let's refresh okay looks good but we have these contents appearing not at the perfect positions and also the button does not have the right color so first of all i want to specify the color for the button so maybe i i don't have specified it before so set the color to fff that is the color code of white now let's refresh okay the button looks good now we need to have name and email right here and below it we need to have message so what let's write some css so for the input in contact and for text area inside contact I want the width to be 100% and we have some border right here so let's see click it and we have the 4 pixel border and let's check the color so go to this and you can click right here and in this color and you can see the color is ddd okay just click ok and control click on this icon so that you can see the height is 40 pixel and let's see some padding maybe it has a padding of 16 pixel so for the input and text area i want the border to be one pixel solid and the color is ddd and now the border radius should be 4 pixel and the padding should be 16 pixel ok now let's save and refresh it ok and again the height must be 40 pixel so let's set the height to 40 pixel let's save it and refresh it okay looking good so i think the font is not as exactly for this text so what we can do is we can copy this and we can set its font just write comma and we can put it right here so that it will have the same font as that okay now looks good so this text area should not uh, have this have the fixed height so instead of writing height for text area I want this height to be specified just for the input so so just for the input I want to specify the height of 40 pixel so let's refresh and okay now looks good for me and maybe this height is a little bit bigger I want to decrease it so maybe I can put it at the number of rows defines the height of text area so and I want to tell you that I, I need to put this name and this email side by side so we need to specify column so before that I want to tell you that I have not made container inside contact so that the content is going outside I don't have 15 pixel padding of container right here so what I can do is 
I can take all of this, cut it and create a div with the class container and I can put all these inside it and let's refresh and now it looks great. Now to fix the name and the email what I can do is inside the form I can create a row and inside row I can create column maybe I can create two column and inside one column I want to put this input type and inside another column I want to put this now since we have column we need to add a class clear fix so add a class with the deep clear fix and now let's refresh okay you can see that this have 50 percent with how does that happen because we have not specified the width for the for these in for these columns but as you know that for the column inside the contact we have 50 percent width so these bigger columns have 50 percent width and again this column also have 50 percent width because we are referencing all the column inside the uh, contact so it is very easy now let's give some spacing below the text area so let's measure and the height is about maybe let's say 25 pixel so for the input and text area i want to have the margin bottom of 25 pixel let's save it and refresh okay now looking great now i want to put my um, some information on the right so this is very easy just click it and just copy it and now go to your file and in this column just create a paragraph inside paragraph just put it and since these are bold so put it into the tag called strong so after that i want to make it in the different lines so i want to add a break line break and again i want to put it into the strong tag just to make it bolder so also this strong tag and i want to add a break line break after that okay now just save it and let's refresh it okay now this is perfect now we need to add some social icons right here so let's copy this and we need to have some spacing right here since paragraph has margin button of 15 pixel then maybe I, I think this will fix that automatically so create another paragraph and inside it write this text and let's refresh it okay now looking great the space is also applied by the this paragraph and after this text i want to add social icons so how we can add the social icons is first of all we need these images so control plus to zoom in and click on this icon and control click on this icon so that it will make a selection now go to go to select and go to transform selection and increase its size until it reaches to the last image and just select all these images and go to image and click on crop and now save it inside the images folder is social icons and save it in maybe you can save it as a jpg and click ok press ctrl alt z to go back ctrl minus to zoom out now we have facebook google twitter youtube and linkedin icons so how we can make this icon is 
so after this paragraph I want to create a div with the class okay I don't want to create a, even a div I want to create a on style list so create a ul and inside it I want to create a li and inside inside the li I want to create anchor tag and for the anchor tag inside anchor tag I want to write the name and I want to one two three four five so I want to create five yellow just copy it and I want to add class I don't want to add class in the first yellow and I'll tell that later why I don't want to add class in this first so just write the name okay after you have created a ul let's add a class so cell icons so now we need to give some css to this uh, anchor tag so copy this class and go to style and i want to write some css like this for the ul inside social icon I want the list style to be none so that we will not see the bullet and for the yellow and anchor tag I want them to be displays inline block and also for the anchor tag I want to set the height and width so let's measure control click on this and you can see height and width is 30 by 30 pixel so set its height to 30 pixel and its width to 30 pixel and then we need some spacing between them so spacing is about 8 pixel so how we can do this is we can since we have a li uh, and these are placed one after another and as we have already done in the navigation we are going to do the same thing so for the social, li of the social icons plus li i want to give it a margin left of 8 pixel and let's refresh okay still now we can't see anything so we need to put this social icon image on the background of this anchor tag so we need to put background image and the URL will be since we are on the CSS file to reference the to reference the social icons we need to go back and then go to images folder and then social icons dot jpg and now just save it and refresh okay now you can see the icons right here but there is also the text we don't want this text to be appeared but uh, we need to put this text right here it helps on in SEO search engine optimization so we are not we are going to place the text right here but we are going to hide it using the CSS to hide it using the CSS right like that for the anchor tag set the text indent to some negative value higher negative value maybe like that pixel so it will push the text to the left um, with these native values and it will hide like this okay looks great 
now these are the anchor tags and we can click on them so when I click on them I want them to open in the new tab instead of uh, opening in this in the same page so I can set the target to blank so just copy and apply for all of them now we need to have so when we click it will open in the new tab and that's great we need to have different icon for these rest of them but for but for first it is okay so we don't need to add any css to this one so i have not placed any class for this but we need to add some css for all of them so i have added class for them that's why i added class only for these four so let's add some class some css for g plus we need to set the background position so we need to set the background position so how we can set the background position is since we have the next item let's zoom in a little bit since we have the next item after 36 pixel we need to move our background image 36 pixel negative to the left so the background position will be horizontally minus 36 pixel and vertically it will not move any anywhere so we need to set these values and let's see okay we can see the google plus icon right here and the same process for all of them so for the twitter icon we need to set the background to about minus 71 pixel ok sorry right here or minus 71 Oh, okay that's actually minus 72 and then for YouTube the background position should be 108 native 108 and for the LinkedIn we need to have 144 just save it and let's refresh okay great all of them are looking really great and maybe we can add a title so when I hover over them you can see which icon this belongs to so that you can user can easily understand the icon so I can add a title for this the title will be Facebook refresh and when I over over them you can see the icon name appears right here and this this looks perfect now you can see we don't have any spacing below this is due to we have the column right here this first column and the second column and after column we need to add a class clear fix so let's add a class clear fix just save it and refresh okay now we can scroll down we have our contact section also perfect now let's check if it is responsive or not okay let's increase right here then let's increase and let's we are on the small desktop and let's see okay this is looking perfect in small desktop so let's go below this in tablet so in tablet 
this is looking a little bit smaller maybe we can break them into two different columns or maybe two different uh, blocks so let's add some CSS so we want to break only these two columns so we want to reference these bigger columns and not these smaller columns so I want to add some class to this row so I want to add this class outer row so I want to add the CSS only to the immediate child of the outer row so go to responsive.css and when on the tablet I want the same CSS as this so how I can do this is for the immediate child you can use the angle sign that is greater than sign and you can say the column so it will reference only the immediate child and it will not point to these columns so let's refresh and okay that's great but we need to have some spacing after this form but maybe why they don't have the 100% width they need to have 100% width okay let's see the CSS is not overwriting the width of 50% so what we can do is we can maybe we can set this value to important so that it will overwrite it so just refresh it ok now looks good then we need to add some spacing below it so into the form I want to add some margin bottom when being on the tablet and below it so I want to write CSS right here so for the form of about I want the margin bottom of 25 pixel so now let's refresh it okay why it is not working okay actually that is contact now refresh it and now that looks good so right here instead of writing important I could have also done this one so I can reference it using the contact then it would have worked so let's refresh it okay that's working so this important uh, CSS uh, we should not use as much as we can because it creates a lot of problem while making responsive layouts now let's make it even bit is even smaller and let's view on the mobile okay maybe in mobile I could break these columns into single columns so it would look good so let's do that first of all I want them to set the float to none so for the column inside the form I want to set the float none ok let's refresh it ok they are not floating anymore again I want them to have with 100% so I can just copy this and put it right here and it will fix that let's refresh ok great our contact us section is also contact section is also completed and it is responsive now zoom out and now let's add a small footer right here so it's very easy to create a footer now we can see that our code looks little bit not clear so to fix that control a to select all go to edit 
then line and click on reindent and it will fix the indentation of all the CSS now close this section and below this section add a comment like this Okay, perfect now let's add a footer we have a uh, HTML tag called footer to create a footer so create a footer and inside footer let's create a container and we can create text so create a div with the class container and inside container we need to put these two text so maybe we can create two column right here so create a row and inside row create column two column and just copy this text and put like that sorry put like that now we need the background color for footer so let's check the background color the background color is ee -E. so go to style css and let's write some css for footer and for the footer i want to set the background to as ee -E. so just save it and refresh it okay but we can see the background this is because we have a problem we have column floating so we need to add a class clear fix now it will it must work okay looking great but we need to add some padding so let's see how much padding we can add maybe 15 pixel padding looks good to me so add a padding let's add a padding of 15 pixel on the top and bottom and not any padding on the left and right so 0 pixel for the left and right oh okay looking great but i want this text to be right here so how i can get this is by floating this column to the right so i can add a class float right to float the content to the right okay now looking perfect now let's see how it looks in responsive layout so let's view it in desktop a small desktop looks good also tablet looks good and for the mobile maybe for a smaller mobile we can center this text in mobile view so for the footer i can set the text link to center i can reuse this css so when i am on mobile i can set the footer to have text align to center refresh it okay why this is not working this is not working because we have column so we need these columns to have not floated on the mobile view so what i can do is i can set the column inside the footer to not float on the mobile so let's refresh it and now this have fixed our issue and maybe we can add a little bit of spacing below it so what i can do is for the footer in mobile view i can increase the line height of the text so i can set the line height to 24 pixel or maybe 25 pixel and let's refresh okay this spacing looks good to me and let's see how the overall website looks in mobile Okay, great work.